Okay, can you see it? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay, so from today, we will be learning AC, okay? Fundamental of the AC signal, AC circuitry. And tomorrow, on the Zoom, you will be learning how to working with the generator and the oscilloscope, okay? During in the summer, you get only two left bone have to be done, AC1 and AC2. For the new student, then you have to get also the DC fundamental circuit board, okay? So this one we already talking to you before, okay? This is AC signal. And this telling you the Emily tweet here, okay? And this will be the time domain. That means the signal vary with the time. So whenever you see this signal, you have to know what the name of the signal. That's what we call a sideway, okay? And the time domain, that telling you, and the vary with time. So when you're looking into the sideway from the zero to the top or zero to the bottom here, that's what we call a V peak, okay? And from the top to the bottom, that will be V peak to peak. So in this case, if I say V peak equal five volt, okay? That's a five volt right here then peak to peak will be two times V peak 10 volt. And also, have to remember how to calculate the VIMF root mean square or effective voltage equal 0 0.707 times V peak, okay? 
and from at the zero here, they go up, okay? And when they go up again, that complete one cycle, we go up, period. Okay, that's a period in second, okay? F means the frequency, okay? Unit will be in hug. So you get the formula T equal one over F or F equal one over T. T is period, F is frequency. And this formula T must be in second and F have to be in hug. And this is a basically definition cycle, one complete occurrence of the repeating wave, period, periodic wave signal, such at one positive and one negative alternation of a side wave. What is the frequency? Frequency, the number of cycle of signal that occur in one second. And period, the time distance between two similar point on the periodic way. That's a very, very basic definition. Okay, next, we're talking about capacitor. This is a capacitor, okay? Different side. Capacitor is a circuit component that is designed to store electrical charge. If you connect a DC voltage source to a capacitor, the capacitor will charge to the voltage of the source. The capacitors are widely used in electrical okay. and electronic application. They are used in electronic system for signal conditioning and Timing. Okay, capacitor could be either non polarity or polarity. Normally, value of capacitor is farad, millifarad, microfarad, nanofarad, or picofarad. That's what we already done. So 10 minus 3, my 10 minus six, 10 minus nine, or 10 minus 12. Okay, now, we're talking about capacitor charging. You see this circuitry here. You get a power E and a voltage, and this is a switch. They can go to number one or they can go to number two. Okay. So if you connect the switch to number one, like that one here. So the current from the power go to resistor and charging capacitor. You see that this side positive and this side negative. Now, at the beginning, before you close the switch to number one, so the voltage on the capacitor, that VC, see that? That VC is zero, okay? So when the current flowing, jumping on the capacitor, 
and the voltage on the capacitor will be going up. They cannot go up quickly right away. Take a time. They keep going up. Up to this point here. That means the capacitor will be full charge. Okay. So if I set the E here is e 5 volt. That means when they charge it up here will be 5 volt. No more charging. Okay. So the voltage at this point will be 5 volt. And they will be keep that forever if we still keep power. That's what we call charging. Okay. When you're reading, you see transient interval. That means the voltage on capacitor keep moving. Okay. When they no longer charge, that's what we call a steady, steady state. That means that will be full, full charge. Okay. So in here, a picture A, B, C equal E, and I, C equal zero. Okay. When they full charge, that means you get a five volt on this side, and this side will be five volt. So both wanted the same. That means no current flow anymore. Okay. On the B, they say equivalent circuit for the capacitor. Okay. That means you get the VC positive here and negative here. Okay. And the, they will be an open circuit. How come they can say open circuit? Who know why? Do you know why they open? Hello, is that guy hear me? I can hear you. I just don't know the answer. Oh, uh, not connected. What I'm saying is, how come they say open? Is that open switch? No, switch right here. Right now they close the switch. The reason they telling you open, the thing is the current flow will be zero. You see, I see they say zero. How come current equals zero? Is the uh, battery and the capacitor both at the same Perfect. charge? Exactly. The thing is when the capacitor charging up, that means right here, maximum. The same voltage. Voltage here and the voltage here, the same. That will be telling you no current flow. Okay? So that will be open. Now we're talking about time constant. Tau equal R times C. That's the formula for what we call a time constant. In this formula, R in O, C in Farad, and Tau equal a second. What is, what is time constant? Time constant is the time for capacitor charge or this charge to 63.2% of the maximum value. 
That means if you calculate the time constant and you get the value, okay, how many seconds, that allow the pattern to jack up to 63.2% of the maximum value. However, after five time constant, capacitor will be full charge. Okay, now that's what we're talking about, capacitor charging. If you get any question or any still confusion, bring it up. What's the significance of the 63%? That's just a formula telling you, okay? That means if, if you connect it the pattern to the power, okay? And depending on the value of R and C, With 60 key time R time C, I given you example. If you calculate R C equal two milliseconds, that only telling you in two milliseconds capacitor will be jacked up to 63.2 percent. Don't ask me why. This experience, okay? They come up with that number, okay? Thank you. Now, we're talking about capacitor discharging. So they move the switch to number two. Okay? Not connect to the power anymore. So you see on that one. When they move to number two, that means they connect to the common. So the capacitor now will be the source. Current will be flowing this way, okay, to the round. So voltage here will be positive and that will be negative, okay? So the capacitor will be discharged. Exactly what happened in your car. If you turn on the headlight, you forget to turn it off. So that means the current keep charging through the resistor, okay? However, they will be get the power from battery. So up to the point, your battery will be die, okay? No more. Also, you can see, they draw the current IC go this way. Who know how? How they draw this way? We already telling you, the current, they can draw the current by moving up electron, you know, the uh, let's see one we call a conventional current, okay. Another current will be electron current. That means elect electron moving. So this the electron moving, okay. However, we learning we learning by conventional current going from positive to negative. Even both current will be the same. Okay? So now they will be discharged. If you're looking here, when they're jacking up to maximum E voltage, and this one will be discharging. Keep going, going down, up until the point. The voltage will be zero. 
okay? So here, they draw the picture for you. The battery is 40 volt. Capacitor will be charging, keep going up, okay? This is steady state. That means go up to 40 volt, and they stay here. This is the discharging. That means on position number two, they will be going down, keep going down until zero. So that will be telling you how capacitor will be charged and discharged. Okay, any question, anything? Okay, now, the rate of capacitor charge, it depends on the product, tau equal RC what we call a time constant. Time constant is the time for capacitor charge up to 63.2% of the maximum value. However, after five time constant, capacitor is full charge, okay? So in here you can see, you get five volt, okay? You can move a switch go to one or go to three. So if they go to one, that means capacitor will be charging, okay? If they move the switch to number three, capacitor will be discharging, okay? Now, delta VC, what that mean, delta VC? VC, that means the voltage on capacitor. Delta VC, that means the change in capacitor voltage over period of time T. Now, what is the definition for E? E, that means the voltage difference between the initial voltage. Huh? I'm doing my school thing right now. Okay, E is the voltage difference between the initial voltage on the capacitor and the total voltage that it is trying to reach. E here, that's just a natural law, equals 3.7. You know the formula right here, okay? Delta VC equal E times one minus E power minus T over RC. Okay, and also they given you the formula to calculate the time T. T will be equal to RC, okay? Time log of one over one minus delta VC over E. Okay. T, the time that the capacitor is allowed to chop R resistance in ohm, C capacitance in farad. Okay. So this is the formula. Any question? Okay, this is the formula to calculate the 
the voltage charging, okay, or this charging, delta Vc on the capacitor. And also they given you the time T, okay? Time for charging or discharging. Now, you're looking into the example here. Do the following calculation for the circuit so when the switch is low and the capacitor is discharging. Okay, they want to calculate the time constant. Okay, you go ahead and calculate the time constant to see you can get 0 0.2 second or not. Okay, time constant. Equal. Ah. Okay. Time. C. That's the formula. I will be 200 ohm. Okay. Time. C. 1000. Michael Farad. Okay, you calculate for me. If you get the answer 0 0.2 second, let me know. If you cannot get it, I will be help you. Remember, that will be unit will be old. I just using T, okay? So basically, they get a two hundred times the unit on the capacitor have to be in farad, not microfarad. Okay, so basically, microfarad you need to change into feather two hundred times one thousand. Okay, time what ten. 
power of my nerd seat. Okay. Let's see. Two hundred times point zero zero one. So you can say two hundred times one thousand power minus six. So you get zero zero zero. So you can get minus three. Minus three, that means you have to multiply zero point zero zero, I think zero one. Let's see, 200 times point zero zero one. Correct. That will be equal zero point two. Okay, second. Okay, and the next question, 0 0.2 here. Okay, they say, I want the voltage on the capacitor at the time constant. Can you calculate to get my answer? 25.28. Okay, now, at the time constant, B, okay. What we see equal? We're talking about the formula, how to calculate it. How do we calculate the VC capacitor voltage at the time constant? We already get go through it. They're telling you at the time constant, a voltage on the capacitor will be jacked up to 63.2% of maximum value. That means equal 63.2, okay? Um, the voltage will be 40 volts. Okay, everything will be divided by 163%. Okay, so see what you get. Sixty three point two time forty equal divide hundred twenty five point twenty eight volt. Okay. You see that? Capacitor voltage at the time constant. Okay, make sure you have to understand how to using the formula to calculate it. 
and the neck, the leg of the time for Kapata wanted to reach for vote. Okay, now we have the formula. Okay. The formula right here somewhere. Okay, let's see. Right here. I can copy that one. Let's see. Okay, this is the time T, R times C, log one over one minus delta VC over E. That the length of time, the calculation will be zero point zero two seconds. Okay, can you do calculation to get that? So the next will be calculate the time. D. Equal R times C. R. Time C. Okay. Multiply by one minus Delta VC. Delta VC. divide to E. Okay, first thing you need to calculate R times C first. R will be uh, 200 or, okay, MC will be 1,000,000 thousand For that, we already did it, okay? Is it 0 0.02, right? Okay, we do the Okay, let's see. Time zero point two. Next, what delta V C equal? And the next, what E equal? Okay, if you see what the delta VC equal, let's see. Number three, they want the length of the time for the capacitor voltage to reach for volt. That means when they close the switch, when they reach for volt, okay? What delta VC equal?
Four volts, right? Four volts. What is equal? Forty volts. Well, fine. Okay. Then after that, do substitute into that equation as a log, one divide, one minus delta Vc over E, you will be get the time number three answer will be 0 0.002 0 second. The key point A, you have to understand what that means for Delta VC equal four volt. Why equal four? And also the value of E. How come E equal 40, 40 volt? That's our source voltage, yeah. I show you here. The capacitor charging is right here. They start zero, they charging. Okay. Maybe they charging up to four volt, right? You want it four. That that means delta VC. Now E is mean the voltage. Capacitor charging try to reach. That means if for the time long enough, they will be charging up to maximum right here. That means try to reach 40. Okay. So that is how. We calculate the, the time, okay? So make sure you apply to this formula. TRC time one minus delta VC divided to E, okay? Now that the, uh, the RC lock, sorry, we're missing RC time lock. Okay, that means on your using your calculator, you're able to get that. Now, Number four, the capacitor wanted 30 millisecond after switch close and the capacitor initially charged to 10 volt. That means after 30 millisecond, okay? The capacitor initially charged to 10 volt. So what the voltage on the capacitor? Number four, capacitor voltage 30 millisecond. That means they want to calculate the VC, okay? T equal 30 millisecond, okay? 
and after Swiss law and capacitor initially just to 10 volt. How do we calculate that? If you're using that formula, delta Vc equal E times one minus, okay, uh, E power minus T over RC, okay, R will be equal E times one minus one over E power T over RC. Now the next one, you want pointed delta VC, okay? The formula will be E. Um, one minus one divide two e. Okay, power will be t over r c. In this formula, okay. You know what E equal? And you need to know E. E equal 3.7, I believe so. And then you need to know T over RC. Then you can substitute into the formula to can calculate it. What E equal? 30. Thirty. What is he equal? What is the E? Okay, what they already telling you? E means the different voltage. Forty volts. Between the initial voltage and the voltage try to reach. What is initial voltage? 10 volts. 10 volts. What the so size to rate? 40, so 30. Right, perfect. You follow that. Okay, so basically, A will be 40 minus 10 equal 30. That's only the different and the rest will be doing the calculation, okay? You can substitute into this formula and that will be helping you to get answer will be 4.17 voltage, okay? Now, we get a three capacitor. 
C1, C2, C3. C1, the value 30 microfarad, C2, 60 microfarad, and C3, 20 microfarad. So this is the way, the formula to calculate the total capacitor in series. What that mean? That means they want to combine C1, C2, C3 into only one capacitor. That's what the total. So this is the formula, okay? C total equal one divide, one over C1 plus one over C2 plus one over C3, and so on. This formula is the same like the register connect in parallel, okay? However, if you get only two capacitor, okay, in series, you can use in C total equal C1 times C2, divide C1 plus C2. So this formula exactly the same like the resistor connect in the parallel, okay? However, now if the capacitor connect in parallel, so you want to combine the formula to calculate total capacitor in parallel, same as the resistor in series. That means C total equal C1 plus C2 plus C3. Okay, so basically we can have to say, okay, in series. Okay. Same at register in series. Okay, so if you get the capacitor, they connect in series. If they want to substitute by one capacitor, then you have to apply the formula we given to you here. Okay. Now, for the circuit below. Calculate the C total. Okay, now you apply the formula to calculate to see what C total equal. Okay, what I think you can do, combine C2, C3.
Okay, let's see. Third thing, combine. C2. And C3. That means you can get the one we call a C2, 3. What is the formula? They parallel, right? C2, C3, parallel. So formula will be C2 blood C3. Okay, 45 plus 15, you get 60 microfarad. Okay. So after you get C23, so now you come up with C1 and C23. C1, and C23 in series. Okay, so you won, the next one will be C, one and C two three. Okay. C one two three. Equal. They in theory. How can we calculate that? So you know the formula I just give it to you. So the formula will be C1 times C23, okay? Everything divide. C1 blood C23. That's how you can do, okay? That means 60 times 60. Sixty times 60 divide 60 plus 60. Okay, that means you're able to get C1 series with C23. So now, C4, C5. C4 and C5 in parallel, you need to combine to get one. That means I say C4, five, C45 equal, they parallel, okay? So they parallel, they working like register, okay? That means you can take C4 adding, C5, ready, Michael Parrot, C4, 
So finally, you can get C123, theory with C45. So finally, C total equal, okay, C123. Parallel C forty five theory. Sorry. C forty five. Okay. And the formula will be C one two three time. C45, everything divide. C, one, two, three, adding C45. That is how you can get. But the thing is sometimes we don't have to go into too much calculation. However, when you're looking into the Capacitor connection, you know, weak one, parallel, weak one will be theory, exactly same register, okay? And how to calculate it, even most of the time, you don't have to do your calculation. In here, they're talking about capacitor current and voltage during charging, okay? That means you connect the power to the capacitor, okay, through resistor here. They say before charging, they will be zero, okay? For a long time, okay? This is the current. Current the decay at capacitor charging. That means when they charging, the current not going up, but keep going down. Okay, keep going down. When the voltage VC and the power E equal, that means IC equal zero. Okay, current sub during charging, current is zero when fully charged. Again, I want to emphasize to you, in this picture here, you can see the current go to a resistor R and keep charging on the capacitor. When the capacitor get full charge, that means if you get a five volt on this side, and the VC also five volt. So the current flow here will be zero, okay? That is the current. Capacitor will be, voltage capacitor will be opposite. Capacitor current voltage. This is the capacitor charging. We already see that, okay? When you connect power, okay? through the capacitor at the beginning, zero, and they keep charging, keep going, okay? Up to the point, they equal the voltage here, no longer charging, okay? So during this time, the current here will be zero, okay? That's what they said. Capacitor voltage VC equal E. 
when fully charged. Okay, let's see, radiant. Major in practice, omega is usually expressed in a radiant per second. Where radiant and degree are related by the identity to pi radian equal 360 degree. Okay, now, that only telling you, they did play this in a side way. Okay, two way they can do. This is zero degree. Right here, 90 degree. 180 degree. This will be 270 degree. And this will be 360 degree. Okay, that means they go in from here. Go around. Complete, go back to zero. 60 degree or zero degree will be the same. However, sometimes they're using the radian. This is 90 degree equal pi divided by two. Pi equal 180 degree, three pi over two, two seven, 70 degree, two pi, 360 degree. Degree. Okay, and remember, 2 pi equals 360 degrees. Okay, that only thing what you need to do is memorize it. Okay, either way, they can be using degree or they can be using uh, radian. Relationship between omega t and f, omega t two pi radian, omega t omega equal two pi divide t, okay, or omega equal two pi f. Note that omega is reference to f radian frequency, okay. We really don't need that thing. Next thing, capacitor circuit. When AC signal, sinusoidal, apply to the capacitor circuit, the capacitor creates a resistance called capacit capacity reactant, XC, represent the opposition that capacitance present to current for sinusoidal and calculate in the following formula. Now, when you connect capacitor in the AC circuitry, then the capacitor will be create the resistance. However, they not call a resistance. They call it capacity reactant. Right here, capacity reactant, okay? And they be calculated by this formula. I see equal one over two pi F C. In this formula, pi equals 3.142. F have to be in hub and C have to be in phallus. Okay? The relation between capacitor voltage VC and the capacitor current IC. Okay? For a pure capacity circuit. Then the current lead voltage by 90 degree. Okay? So, remember, 
the particle when you connect into the AC circuit, then they will be create the resistance. However, that's what we call a capacity reactant, XC, and the unit will be in O. Okay? And we will calculate by formula 1 divided to 2 pi FC, and pi will be equal to 3.142. Okay? In this formula, F have to be in hertz, that frequency, and C have to be in farad. Also, another thing you have to memorize for the capacity circuitry, the current on the capacitor will be lit bonded by 90 degrees. Now we see the relation between capacitor voltage VC and the capacitor current IC. So this is the MD tweet here. This will be displayed for the voltage capacitor, the red one, VC. Okay, and the blue one. That represent for the current IC. So when we looking into this display, how do we know IC will be lit VC ninety degree? Okay, I will be telling you. This is the current, the blue one. They go to ninety degree. You see that? P over, pi over 2, that's the equivalent 90 degree. Okay? Pi in here equals 180 degree. 3 pi over 2, 270 degree. 2 pi will be 360 degree. Okay? So, the current goes before the voltage by 90 degrees. So that's why we say the current lead voltage 90 degrees. Capacity reactant. I take one, one over. Two pi RC. Okay. XC equal one over two pi FC. That's the formula to calculate the capacity reactant. And they already telling you in this formula. What pi equal, what f equal, what c equal. So now, example one, for the circuitry in figure number one, they want the capacity reactant xc, okay? And you know, xc, okay? I C equal one divide two pi um F Ah, C. In this formula, okay. 
Ok. Hi. Equal what number? Three point one four two. Okay. Half one kilo half. And that will be equal one thousand. Oh. Okay, C zero point zero five. Michael Farad. Okay, equal how many Farad? So you take the zero point zero five if I uh, one million. That means you have to say zero point. Zero five, okay. Time ten to the power, okay. Minus six, okay. So you can substitute into that formula. You able to calculate the I see. How do we calculate the current? After you calculate I see. So basically the circuitry now in here you get I see. I see will be in O. My question is how do we calculate the current? Okay, one thing I can tell you. After, okay, get, I see. Then the circuit. Now will be the source at 
and I see okay Data four. Show them I will be equal. Let's see what they will do. VT. VT divide IC. That's how we can get. That means after you calculate the capacity reactant, then now the circuit looks like the voltage and the resistance. Okay? Then you can calculate Ohm law. Take a voltage divide to IC. And now, for the circuitry number two, what they want? They want capacity reactant XC. Okay. How do we calculate the XC? Who can carry me? I see equal what? On the example number two. You know you get a voltage, right? 10 volt. And you get a current. That's why you can calculate the IC. The thing is you cannot using the formula IC equal one over two pi F times C. You don't have a value of C. But they give an IC. So IC will be equal V total divide I. That's what you get IC. How do we calculate the capacitor? That means in this formula here, you already get XC. You already know pi. You already know F, 3.183 kilohertz. And you want to calculate C, okay? So C will be equal, let's see. I see one over two pi FC. And now C will be one over two pi F, I see, okay.
equal one over. Okay, two pi. Time. F. Time. I see. That is the formula to do calculation. Okay. Let's see, what else? Now, you get three capacitor connect in theory. However, they given you XC1, 10 ohm, XC2, 50 ohm, XC3, 60 ohm. Okay, now they want to combine it. So they just are ohm, ohm, and ohm. You're working exactly the resistor. Siri add them up. Okay, and a parallel, then you're using one over. One over XC1 plus one over XC2 plus one over XC3 and so on. Exactly the resistor. If you get only two capacitor connect in parallel with the value XC, then you're using XC1 times XC2 divide XC1 plus XC2. That means they're working exactly the resistor. Okay? The thing is the value will be O, not farad microfarad or picofarad, okay? I see an R in theory. So now you get a circuitry. 100 volt AC sideway connect to the capacitor with the XC. You see that? With the XC ADO. And resistor CTO. Now, number one, what is the current is the same in all, in all components? Can tell you telling me yet or no? You get one capacitor, one resistor. Can you answer for me number one? Current IT is the same in all component. Yes or no? But the uh current decreases when the capacitor is discharging, doesn't it? Yeah, they, you don't care about that one. However, right now, capacitor, they not using the value for the capacitor, farad, microfarad, but they turn out to be resistant, and the value will be 80 ohm. So we're not talking about charging. Then it would be the same in all components. Exactly. Get the right answer. Look like you get a 80 ohm series with 60 ohm series circuitry. So current will be the same. Number two, the voltage VR in fair with IT. 
ข้าวแกงจนเอาเดอะฟอนเตอินเฟย์อันดิฟันเฟย์ if both wanted go the same go up going down same thing that's what we go talking about in phase okay if the wanted going up and another wanted go down opposite that's a hundred eighty degree our phase okay if they ship it to the right that means the phase will be different now you know the formula to calculate the wanted VR. Now you get a R, okay, and I. I'm law. V R equal I half R. You know that I'm law. Okay. So in this formula, only the zero. Okay, so the voltage will be the same with the current. The phase. So basically they telling you one thing. For the RI, then V R V R N I Ah uh, in fact that mean the voltage current both going up or both going down the same. So register have a no fail different. However, when we're talking about VC, VC and IC, now what the phase? Different between VC and IC. Who can tell me? The thing is, we already get through it. The 90 degrees out of phase? Exactly. However, you have to tell me more detail. VC and IC. I know that they will be a 90 degree different. However, you have to go into the detail. VC and IC. Okay. Then I already telling you, I see lead V C by ninety degree. That's what we already telling you. Okay. I see this we see ninety degree.
bonded via in fee ID. Okay. And number three, I see lead VC by 90 degree. Okay. Also, VR and IT in phase. How come they say VR? And IT in phase. Do you understand a it's because the current is the it's the same answer as number one. Okay, the now current. I'm you. Okay. In here, in this series circuitry, I see I R the same current, right? I see here, or I are here, that the same current. That's a series circuitry, only one current. Okay? So that's why we are and I are here. They will be in phase. Okay? I are right here, and we are here. They will be in phase. And that I will be also the same IC. Or we call I total IT. So I R and I C. Only one current. So that's why I R I C will be in phase. And I R and V R, that means the voltage across resistor here will be in phase. Okay. Let's see, I try to see how can I explain to you here. Okay, let's see. I C equal I R equal I total. That will be series circuit. Okay. That will be telling you one thing. V R and I R in phase. Okay. And that will be telling you also. V R I R I C V R I R I C in fact. So you know the IC lead VC 90 degree. If I want to compare between VI and VC, can you tell me which one leading, same phase, 
are lacking. That means different. Now we are and we see what happened. I want to know the relation between VI and VC. They're not in fact. Who can tell who can tell me relation between VI and VC? What I can tell you, we are lead. We see 90 degrees. And also, you know, I uh, also lead the VC 90 degree. The thing is, I see I, uh, I did get only one current. However, I see lead VC 90. So that will be telling you, I are, uh, okay, or uh, we are also lead VC 90 degree. Okay. VC equal I T times XC. VI equal I T times R. XC and R must also be 90 degree, 90 degree out of phase. That's what they explain to you here. Okay, we need to go one more. Quickly try to see what's going on here. Okay, XC and R in theory. Okay, now, for the coordinate here, if I draw the current IR, Go this way. And we already know I are leading I see or I see 90 degree. So that I see will be going down. That's a minus 90 degree. Okay. So that's a rectangular coordinate. So now you can draw the polar here. I go this way. That go this way here. I see go down. So you from on the top here going down. So you connect from this side to the other side. You get the hard part uh, that are here, angle. And this is the total resistance. So I take Z total equal square root of R square plus I C square. So if you want to calculate the total resistance, you cannot add in 80 to 60. No. You have to use in this formula. That's how to calculate the total impedance. Why they not say total resistance? The thing is that combined between the capacity reactant XC and the resistance, that's why they call it impedance, total impedance. You cannot add them up. You have to use in square root, R square plus, I see square. 
that coming from that one right here. If you want to calculate the I current total, I T equal V T divide G total. If you want to calculate the V R, then you take I total time R. If you calculate the current uh, wanted V C, wanted across the capacitor, I T time X C. Now we want to calculate the angle here, okay? So 10 of the angle equal minus XC divide to R. This is the XC divide to R. That means the 10 of the angle, okay? Theta equal 10 minus 1 of minus XC divide R. IT lead VT by that fair angle degree. Okay? So basically, this is the way how to do calculation of the circuitry, okay, including capacitor and the resistor. Try to understand, okay? When you do calculation, normally we can give to you the formula. You don't have to memorize it, but you have to understand. Okay, up to this point, you get any question, anything. You get only thing is we will be deal with capacitor, okay? And after we get through the capacitor and you go to the next one, we will be working with the inductor, okay? They will be the same way. If you understand on the capacitor, then the next, we get into the inductor more easy for you to do, okay? So, you get a two circuit board on the left phone, AC1, AC2, okay? Try to understand the lecture. That will be help you to get it done quickly. So, you get any question, anything. One thing I make sure you can help me out. When you get into the Zoom, try to using your last name, then first name. Okay? That's easy for me to collect your data. In order given everyone five hours, okay? Otherwise, it take me a very long time to dress them out who in the zoo. Last time, some, someone just said iPhone. I don't know who. You have to use in your last name, then the first name, okay? In order to get the credit. You understand in this program, you have to get your hand-on training working done. Also, they also asking for the hour, okay? You get any question, anything. The thing is, later on, we can give you the more homework for you to do. If you get a problem, a problem with the homework when you come into the class, okay, I'm there, just asking me. I will be helping you to get through it. So, any question, anything?
Okay, so make sure tomorrow at five, you get the Zoom with uh, Mr. Tai. He will be helping you to working out with the generator and the oscilloscope. That's really neat for you to working on AC circuit board, okay? Okay, any more, anything I can have? Thank you. Otherwise, make sure you have to download the handout. Okay? I already tell you one thing here. Okay? Let's see. Uh, You see that? That will be flat website. Okay. And now you can say, okay, handout. You go to the handout. And that will be handout number two. I see circuit. Double click, they download it. Okay. Then that's why exactly the same what we're talking about. Okay. So the thing is you have to get along with the website of the class. Okay. Anything later on you doing the homework you need to upload it, okay? Then you can go to upload here. You upload your homework, you already done, okay? And if you want to watch the video, like the video today, will be put on the web, okay? Then that will be for someone missing or someone not quite follow up, you can watch again. Okay, anyway. Will be to you, okay, next week. Finally, any question, any comment, anything else? Okay, if it's not, so we'll be leaving. Okay? Thank you, Mr. Pham. Okay, good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Welcome.